Well, we're, we're driving up to Prudhoe Bay. Uh, we're in Denali right now. We are in Denali. Yes, and uh, who's I'm um, Joel. This is Joel. Joel. Ruben. My dad, Craig, and then Uncle John. There we are. And we're just gonna go as far north as we can until the road stops. All right. On uh, on these on these hogs here. So, BMWs and uh, Kawasaki's. Plus. The it's truck. A support vehicle. The support yeah. vehicle. Yeah. Support truck. So gasoline, food. So what happened here, Joel? Well, the uh, we'll come over here. Take a look All at right. the sprocket. All right. So the sprocket is getting chewed up pretty bad, uh, and so the chain's a little loose. So what we're doing is. We tighten these bolts, which pushes the whole axle backward, uh, and then that'll tighten up the give in the chain and give these teeth a little bit more life so we can get up to Prudhoe Bay and back. There you go. Shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, we're right now in the parking lot of a hardware store here in Fairbanks. Not very friendly people. And not very friendly. <laughs> Surprise. Joel, did you say if you move the tire back, you'll get to Prudhoe Bay faster? Is that what you said? Well, I'll get there. Oh, you'll get there. <laughs> so that'll be good. That's the key. <laughs> Made it to the Dalton Highway. All right, let's go back. We don't have to go all the way up there. Huh? We're not gonna go all the way up there, are we? Where? It's Pruda. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go back. Yeah. Oh, we're good. You gotta get our pictures underneath that sign there. Right? Yeah, we should. How's the road treating you? Terrible. It's bad? Yeah, that, that, that's rough road. I didn't like that at all. It's kind of bumpy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, too much twisting and turning and the bumps and yeah, I could have done without that for sure. It'll probably get better the further north we go. How's the truck handling? I was seasick. <laughs> <laughs> there was one sign said dip, there was no dip. But there was a gajillion other dips. <laughs> Made it to the Yukon River Bridge behind me. And I'm not sure where these old guys are. They must have fell behind. The road got pretty rough back there. So I think they're still getting their wheels underneath them. But check this out. This is the uh, pipeline. Right here this is what it's all about. And so it's built above the ground so the permafrost doesn't melt. That's one to protect the permafrost, but two, if the permafrost was melting, this whole pipeline would be bent up and, you know, that wouldn't be good. And this is it right here. Pretty cool. 
It also is built to absorb some shock, I guess, from earthquakes so it can move a little bit. Yeah! Arctic Circle, 60 miles! 60 miles? We're almost there! camped here at the BLM campsite just north of the Yukon River it's about six o'clock waiting yeah. for the Sun to go down let me uh, jump in there for a second Joel mm. so uh, just so we understand BLM Bureau of Land Management Good call. Bureau of Land Management when people say they don't like BLM in Alaska that's what we're talking about all right so camp is pretty beautiful they cleared out all this land and uh, you know it's it's like 85 degrees out direct Sun no problem I'm look glad, at this and I'm glad I have my 30 degree sleeping 30 bag. degree sleeping bag just in case, <laughs> just in case. Uh, we got the Walmart tent with the Walmart tarp over top <laughs> you know Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. We don't want to be working too hard on this trip. You know, a lot of these guys come up on motorcycles and they're carrying their tires and their tents and their gear. Yeah. Listen, I'm not saying that isn't cool and all, but like what's what's better than that? Having a support vehicle carry cold beer with you because we all we got coolers full of ice. And then of course our bug tent. And we eat inside the bug tent. And we got our machines parked out here. Working on a tan, drinking some beer, 4th of July is in two days. Yeah, life's pretty good. Arctic Circle? Arctic yeah. Circle. Oh, oh, at mile marker 235 is the farthest north spruce. And there's a restroom there. And that's it. That's it. No more trees after that. Nothing but granite. Tundra. What? Tundra. I don't know. Yeah, I, we'll find out. Because we're going. Polar bears and moss. Coldfoot has Muscat. gas. Yeah, we have to stop in Coldfoot. That's at one ah, seven mile marker gonna... 175. <laughs> and I'm gonna buy ice. Cause with this Alaskan weather, it just melts like, yes. like we're in Southern Florida. Well, it is in the eighties. Yeah. Oh, and the, the Arctic Interagency Visitor Center is across the street from Coldfoot. Okay. We can get our sticker. Oh mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Fourteen years old, raised a big old four H hog. Traded that hog for nineteen and twenty nines a day. A few years go by, that Marines or the Second World War. Beach that storm that day, come on with less boys than before.
that cabin on the lake was Minnesota to him. Fishing rod in hand, he's that 14 year old boy again. Oh, they laugh, tell stories, drink cheap yellow. They play dominoes, drinking highballs, grinning ear to ear. That cabin on the lake, touch and smile, head on the hill. Fishing rod in hand, he's that 14 year old boy again. Fishing rod in hand. He's that 14 year old boy again. Well, guys, we made it to the Arctic, Arctic Circle. Circle. Yes. There it is. You think? I thought there was going to be dots or something, like a line. That's what the map shows. They're in the woods. Yeah. Is that a natural feature? <laughs> hey, Spike, what's this song called? Can't blame nobody but me. Two, three, four. And that's about it, I think.
Like the pictures went to Craig, but not. The I'm just filming the mosquitoes. No, oh, he doesn't have Verizon. See, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. Verizon yeah. works. Yeah. But we made it to camp. Excuse me. Out of the Brooks Range. Tomorrow we'll get to Prudhoe Bay. It was another three hours. About. I'm not sure. Yeah, with the way you guys are driving, maybe six. <laughs> okay. All right. We got four wheels here. I could do it in an hour and a half. <laughs> now that's that. Of course, Joel is if the skeeters don't eat us before the morning. Yeah, if we don't get eaten alive tonight in our sleep. <laughs> the plan is, <laughs> it's they're bad. I mean, they uh, they can't be overstated how bad the mosquitoes are. We're packing up in the morning, trying to get to Prudhoe Bay today. About thirty percent chance of rain, but I think it's gonna rain a lot. A little bit of rain. Clean the and, bike off. Yeah, a lot of mosquitoes though. Oh. If oh it's God. raining when they say 30%, shouldn't it be 100%? Well, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's my that is bad. Oh my, oh. Oh my God. You see it here? Check it out. You're covered. Yeah. Hey, they love me. They love me. What can I tell you? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, we got to get the hell out of here. Oh, you faster than we would have been just right through. Road construction. Almost loud. I can see all the runways. A long side one that Denver would be before. We're coming down like 4,000. That's plain. There's a little bit of a breeze. Keeps the mosquitoes down. All right? It's not bad. 20 minutes, you said? 20 minutes. Chicago fire. It's a nine-mile thing, so.
Today, today we're gonna swim in the Arctic Ocean. Yeah, we are actually gonna we gotta take a tour of us to Prudhoe Bay. The oil companies own all the roads up there, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna swim. You're gonna swim, right? Ruben swimming. Dad, you're swimming. Hey, swimming. 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 Are you swimming? Oh, absolutely. We're going for a morning dip. He's got. He's already got his trunks on. Look at that. Red, white, blue. Huh? I'm geared up. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Sun. That's it. Arctic Ocean. Prudhoe Bay. He's diving in! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, that's cold! God damn! Oh! Once I had a girl so fair, she was my pride and joy. The west was new, the skies were blue for my pride and joy. Then the call to go rung out, rung throughout the land, rivers rich with fortune, buried in the sand. Oh, Buried in the sand Then came time to say goodbye To my pride and joy As I held that woman tight She stole my pride and joy Words of fame and fortune Ringing in my ears Golem toe lays on the ground. I've dreamt of it for years. I've dreamt of it for years. Once I had a girl so fair, she was my pride and joy. West was new, the skies were blue for my pride and joy. West I traveled. Find my riches there Once I reached the ocean I found the beaches bare I found the beaches bare oh. Now I work on the railroad My future I suppose my life has been wandering where land no one knows. I'm bound to be a traveler. The feelings in my blood. Sometimes at night, I'll think of her. 
she still holds my love. She still holds my dry I hear I will I be oh, if I could find that steel door key we'd gear so draw so high we shall know where that steel key lies all the food is vile molded pallet on the floor Snakes in the corner, holy bucket by the door. Oh, the Reverend come to me, said tomorrow's your time. Oh, the devil's in you, son. Got the Lord Father on our side. How dry I am. How will I be? If I could find that steel door key. Get so dark, oh, get so high. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, just another morning in paradise. Yeah. Today we're getting to Healy. Right now we're in Coldfoot. Yes, we are. Healy. Healy. Yeah. Is that in Mexico? I wish. That's Denali. And then we're getting down to the Kenai Peninsula after Healy, so we're gonna book it down there. We shall do with steel key light. I killed that man in a drunken rage. If I could find a steel door key out of my eyes, blood will flow. The tide twines red. So drunk, we get so high. Oh, I wish I knew where the steel key lies. How dry I hear, how wet I. Steve.
you do We get so drunk We get so high Here we are in Fairbanks Joel's putting on a new sprocket and chain He's wearing down them teeth pretty good in there Ruben is supervising <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Here's the packages we got. We're over here at hey, the, the coffee. And, and John's getting the coffee Come to make sure we you survive. Need, <laughs> you need anything else out of the truck? No, you didn't think so. There was a hammer and a. Uh, I'm back in 10 minutes if you need it. All right. We got Joel on the timer to see how quickly he could put this thing up and start running. All right. We are now, as you can see, the rear tire is off. And there's the new... Zoom in here. New one right there. You see the difference in teeth here. So, the old one's underneath. This is the new one. <laughs> they really, almost nothing left. So... <laughs> oh my God. You really gotta change that out. Yeah. You yeah. don't wanna get... Idea, you don't wanna let it get, get that low. I no. wouldn't recommend it. But we had to get we had to get to Prudhoe Bay and then we had to get back. So I'm not gonna stop. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it was a good town here. Got lots of uh, supplies that we need. There's the old one and then the new one. You can see the difference in teeth. Fourth of July fireworks. Yes. Did you have the grinder or did you borrow one, Joel? The grinder? Yeah. I borrowed it from the shop. Oh, nice. Too bad, it's uh... Yeah, I'll pull it back out a little bit then. Okay. Not all the way, halfway. Do you Good. have to put it on this yeah. slider first? Yeah. But I keep pulling. More? Yeah, 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 more. There you go. Watch out, we're gonna get this on. Watch out. Really. <laughs> you can't pull it in towards you at all? Oh, yep. Yeah, now we're lined up. Now push it back. There we go. Yeah, keep pushing. Hold on. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh. It went up. It slid up. Did it go on? Yes, it did. Woo! Good. That easy. Looks like a brake is on, but mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Everything's everything's together. I didn't see him put any super glue on there first. No, no, no duct tape, no super no. glue. We're good. And that'll hold, huh? gotta make sure these are even yeah well if you've been watching the channel for a while you know we've done a cowboy camping special a few years back so it looks like the sequel here <laughs> oh man see how this works look at it's this motorcycle motorcycle that's right yep we got the tarp and that's then architecture right here and then they gotta lean in and with bikes, bikes. a couple of 
couple of tarps here. How about that, huh? You'll even need a tent anymore. How about that? And we're packing up here. Last day of the ride, we got seven hours to get down to the Kenai Peninsula. We're gonna motor it in from Healy down to Soldatna. 60% chance of rain, coldest part of the whole trip. Believe that, going south to get cold weather. Cheeks can't buy the smile line. Yeah, but they're without trying. I know we have young souls, but when our fingers meet, we both have to giggle. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, we drove from Prudhoe Bay. Well, we drove from Kenai Peninsula, oh, Kenai man. River, Dude, to Prudhoe Bay. We made it back here on the Kenai River. So, thanks for watching. If you like that video, share, like, subscribe. Ciao. Hey, guys. <laughs>